CS Pro Mod Beta 1.04 offers a completely revamped main menu design done by our art director, Alba. As you can see, I have a bunch of familiar options here in the main menu. I can open my, open my console, I can create a new game, I can find servers, I can change my settings, and I can quit, although we hope that you won't do that until you play the game for a little bit. We have some exciting new features in the options section. As you can see, we've made the multiplayer tab and the multiplayer advanced tab both more efficient. So I can change my player name here. I can change my spray information here. And if I go to the multiplayer advanced tab, I can change my update rate, command rate, and rate. I can change my multiplayer decal limit. And I can also change my interp ratio which is the only functional netcode command in CS Promod. It doesn't actually do anything for you unless you have really high ping. So we feel that with our netcode system, netcode config will be a thing of the past. The really cool thing about our new main menu and options menus is the CS Promod tab in the options menu. As you can see here, I have a variety of options and customization features, some of which will be familiar to you in a good way, and many of which are brand new. They span a couple different categories, including HUD, radar, crosshair, weapons, and wall impact effects. Now I'm going to start a new game and show you what some of these options do. We're here on CSP Aim Arena. I'm going to give myself some money really quick to show you guys. Some different features. One more setting here. Alright, let's move out. Now going back to the CS Promo Options tab, let's first talk about the HUD and the HUD player icons. There are three options for HUD player icons, which are again the icons you see shaped like player silhouettes at the bottom of the screen on the left and right of the round timer. Right now, you can see that I actually have 10 icons showing up, and one of them is illuminated with blue. <clears throat> this is because I'm currently the only player in the server. It shows an illuminated blue silhouette because I'm a counter-terrorist who's currently alive. If I have more teammates join on my team and they're alive, more blue silhouettes will fill those transparent spots on the left. Or if more terrorist players join the game and they're also alive, red ones will fill the currently transparent ones on the right. This is because I currently have the HUD player icon setting on the both checkbox, meaning that it shows silhouettes for players who are both alive and dead. The alive players have an illuminated silhouette, and the dead players have transparent silhouettes. I can change this to just alive if I want to. So now you can say I only have one silhouette showing up. It's illuminated. And if I were to die, it would just disappear entirely as opposed to changing to a transparent one. I can also turn this feature off entirely if I don't want it. The next feature we'd like to show you is the HUD grenade bar. This feature shows up in the bottom left hand of the screen, slightly above the health and ammunition boxes. It's currently set to on. And when it's on, it displays your HUD, uh, excuse me, the grenade ammo on the HUD in that area. So I have it set to on. I'm going to X out now. You can see it's right there above my health. I currently have no nades of any kind, so it shows 0, 0, 0. If I want to turn this off, it's as easy as going to the options and turning it off. We like it, so we're going to turn it back on. A fairly straightforward feature that's been in Counter-Strike for a while is the ability to center your target's nickname. That's in the CS Promote Options tab as well. The next thing I'd like to show you is the chat text click sound feature. This is a feature that does not exist in CS 1.6, but does exist in Source Engine games. In CS 1.6, if you say something or a teammate says something that results in text showing up on your HUD, you don't really hear any sound with it. You see the text appear, and that's basically it. But in Source Engine games, you hear a click sound. And if you want to hear that click sound, you can turn it on. I have turned it on. And now when I say something, or a teammate says something, or an enemy says something in MM1, 
I'll be able to hear that click sound. I personally find it annoying. I'm going to turn it off. One other feature uh, is the CS 1.3 death notification. Um, that's something we've added due to popular demand. You can choose between our death notification messages or a CS 1.3 style death notification. You can turn it on and off right here. Going into radar commands, the first one is fairly straightforward. You can turn your radar on and off if you want with these checkboxes. The first uh, feature about the radar that we'd like to show you is the same as CS 1.6. You can change your radar from being 1.6 style clear to 1.6 style solid. Currently I have it set to clear and as you can see it's a CS 1.6 style radar and it's transparent. I can also change this to be solid. As simple as that. The next thing that we've added with the radar is the functionality for a map overlay. So you have to have the radar style selected to clear in order for this to work, and I have it selected there. If I want to add a CS source style map overlay to my CS 1.6 style radar, I can do that. And as you can see, I've added it, and I have a nice CS 1.6 style radar that's transparent in certain parts, and I have a nice map overlay with it now. And as I run around in the map, it's updated dynamically. We think this is a nice hybrid between CS 1.6 and source radar. I usually play that way, so I'm going to keep it there. The next feature we have on the radar is the ability to show the nicknames on the radar of you and your teammates. I currently have it set to off, so I just have a green dot in the middle of the radar, which is me. But if I turn it on, you can see that my name is displayed underneath my dot. And for other teammates of mine, their names would also be displayed underneath their dots as well. I also like to play with this feature on, so I'm going to keep it on. Moving on to the crosshair, we have three fairly straightforward commands. We have the standard small, medium, and large size crosshair options, which are identical to what people are used to. You can change your crosshair color to a variety of different options, including pink and lime, thanks to our designer, Alba. And you can also change your crosshair translucency from fully solid on the right to invisible on the left. One note about the crosshair size is that while you can choose the simple option and changing uh, the crosshair size and scale via the small, medium, and large options. For advanced users, you can still change the crosshair size and scale and color as well manually via, via console commands with more detail. These console commands are CL underscore crosshair underscore advanced underscore scale and CL underscore crosshair underscore advanced underscore size. The crosshair color is controlled by CL crosshair color and that accepts an RGB input. 